Welcome back to a Fab Family Hangout. Let me adjust the camera down just to here a little bit so you guys can see the ceramic black polished and wax from Turtle Wax. Absolutely love it. Got several people in the chats already tonight, you guys. Um, Keith Firebird, Hoof Hearted, uh, Me Tune. Yes, it will be live, by the way. Uh, Blair Stewart, what is up, man? Good to see you. Let's see. Tractor supply. Oh, let me turn the volume down. One way or another. Hope everybody's having an awesome night tonight. I know I am. Had a really, really good day today uh, working around the house. Uh, Keith Fire, I think the more you wire, the easier it gets. Like plumbing. I don't do a lot of housework, but I know what you're talking about because Hoof is talking about it. Uh, CJ Byrne, good to see you, man. John Schluter, good to see you. David Singh, Oklahoma is in the house. Are you watching Life PD? Because I have no idea if it even is on right now, but hopefully everybody's having a good night. Hopefully it's got good reception, got good audio. There's no storms. I want to show you guys the shirt that I'm wearing tonight. Pops. Taco Smurf. You're not even in here yet. But yeah, we did a lot of work around the house today. And there he is right there. Papa Smurf. Taco Smurf. <laughs> uh, did a lot of work around the house. That my arms are sore. Uh, Todd, hoof hearted. Man, I, I feel like I'm gonna wake up dead in the morning. My shoulders hurt. My forearms hurt. Man, we oh, we did so much work today. But it's been a good day. This right here, you guys. Uh, if you have a black car, you need to buy this. Don't wait. Don't waste any time at all. Go out and buy these products. That is how good they actually are. I cannot wait to use them on the Jeep. Let's see. Taco is here. Hey, Papa. What's up, Papa? LKB Pythons, good to see you, man. It's been a little while. Mark Sosi, I won the best Smurf turtle wax hat. <laughs> there it is. Oh, so you guys had a bet on what, what hat I'm going to wear? Because I have tons of hats. I can throw you guys way off. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Smurf, dang it, he's wearing a turtle wax hat. <laughs> oh, man. Roadrunner, good evening. Good to see you. Thanks for being here in the live stream. What did you guys think of this video today? I mean, I know I got a lot of uh, good comments. I've had a lot of views, uh, over 1,300 views already today, and a lot of comments. Um, so what did you guys think? I mean, I am. this is a great product, the Polish right here, but I in no way saw this. It, it, this blew my mind. Absolutely, the, the spray black wax, it's called spray wax, but the black wax, the spray, holy cow. And seeing the beads inside the beads, not the bubbles inside the bubbles, like I said in the video, I have no idea where that came from. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the gloss is amazing. You can see on the panel, where I did it and where I hadn't. It was dull looking over here and it was glossy over here and the panel was exactly the same on both sides before I did that. So it adds gloss, hides imperfections. The hydrophobics are ridiculous. There's nothing to not like about this product right here or this one. This one works great too. This one just caught, like I said in the video, caught me off guard, man. This, this thing's amazing. Hey, hum Humberto Roche Garcia, good to see you. It was a great video. Thank you, Nick Burt 90 I appreciate that. When you started, it was all about griots. Now it's turtle wax. What's up, guys? Love the video. Yeah, it, well, when I started, it was all about griots because that's all that I had. Uh, griots, I have been using. For, I still use griots. I love griots garage products. Um, but the, the bigger the channel gets when you're on YouTube, I found out pretty quick, um, you have companies that start messaging you on Instagram, Facebook, or even on YouTube saying, hey, can you contact us? Um, and then they want to send you products. And I have turned some companies down. I have let companies send me stuff and I ended up not liking it. But when a company like Turtle Wax, just think about it. Everybody knows who Turtle Wax is. You don't say no, ever. <laughs> and uh, when they sent me that first uh, five gallon bucket of products, uh, it had seal and shine in it, which I knew nothing about at the time. And I used it and I think my video, and I'm not bragging, but I think my video still has the most views on YouTube of their seal and shine. I think we have over 500,000 views, I think. Don't hold me to that. 
uh, amazing product, and they have just upped it and upped it. The hybrid solution line up here, amazing. This, I, I got goosebumps, I'm telling you. That's how good these products were. I mean, just absolutely amazing. Sorry, I'm rambling. Uh, da, 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 da. Jason Davis, good to see you, man. Man, I'm much more excited about it. Man, you're going to love it, dude. Papa Smurf, you're going to love it. Uh, Nick Burt 90, I'm excited to try it. Yeah, it's really good, you guys. You guys are all going to love it. It was a good video. Thank you, Gene1984. Appreciate that. Thank you. I know it was long. I've been trying to make my videos a lot. Uh, I, I try to make all my videos under 15 minutes now. Because I do watch the algorithm. I do watch my, not algorithms. Um, I watch view times, uh, you know, watch times, how many people are viewing. I watch all that on my analytics on the YouTube uh, studio. And I'm noticing uh, my views are between five and seven minutes max for most views. Now, my normal everyday subscribers that really support the channel, I know you guys watch the videos all the way through, but not everybody does. But then when you get a really long video, like I, like I was going to have, to, like today's video, I feel like I should tell people ahead of time, look, I'm sorry it's long, but it's going to be worth it. Just watch the whole thing because I think you people lose interest pretty quick or they just start skipping through. And if you skip through my videos, you may miss something that you don't want to miss in the middle or at the end or at the beginning, just depending on where you're skipping. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate the feedback, letting you, you guys tell me that you like the video. I really appreciate that. That video is awesome, especially for those with black vehicles. Yeah, if you have a black vehicle, that video is amazing. And I'm not talking about me. I'm just talking about the video because you got to see these products in action. I need to use them on this black cabinet right here. Look how dull it looks. Uh, how long will the black filler last? Well, uh, Keith Firebird, the black filler is going to last basically as long, and, and this is what I'm guessing because these are new products to me, they're going to last as long as the product lasts. So let's say the spray wax lasts a month i would i would expect the filler to last a month um you know if the black polish lasts three or four months i would expect the filler to last that long but don't know you know brand new products i don't know uh you know i don't know papa smurf uh it it's sio2 based the spray wax they call it a ceramic acrylic black wax it has carnauba in it but also has sio2 and acrylic polymers uh, I think these are going to probably surprise me. I don't know yet. Uh, the acrylic should give us durability, and it should allow the product to adhere to the surface better. So, we are I mean, we're going to find out. We're going to see how long this lasts once I put it on the Jeep, not on the test panels, because I got other videos I need to make on those test panels. Hi. Great video today. Waiting a comparison between the regular hybrid solutions with the black line hybrid. I... I was thinking the same thing, Mach 1, uh, VN. I appreciate you being on here. Thank you for commenting. Um, I'm kind of thinking the same thing, but this isn't considered a spray coating like they're calling that right there, the ceramic spray coating up here. I'm not, I could put them side by side just for the heck of it. I can tell you just right now, this is going to sheet and bead water better than that does. I can tell you that right now. Durability wise though, that's probably going to last longer. Video was great, man. I recorded some footage today on my Avalon. I need to get editing. I was blown. Oh, yeah. See? Oh, man. I love hearing other YouTube, especially somebody like Phil from Random Detail. If you guys don't know who Phil is, if you've never been on his channel, go check it out. This is what he does every day for a living. I don't do this every day for a living. I'm a mechanic every day for a living. To see somebody like him that uses products, multiple products, every single day to say he was blown away, that's big. That's That tells me that what I saw... In, in my testing of the products, that tells me that, okay, I was right. I hit the nail on the head. <laughs> That's basically what it's telling me. I would never lie for a company, though. I don't care how big the company is or how small the company is. If, it, if, they, if they didn't flat out work, I'd flat out tell you they don't work. Uh, but these are just amazing. Enjoyed the video. Thank you, Ryan Childs. I appreciate that. Good to see you, man. Uh, I'm just giving in your hell. <laughs> I know you are, Mount Campbell. I'm sorry I'm way behind. Uh, Phil, what's up, man? Your car looked awesome today. Da, da, da. What's up, Robert Knapp? Good to see you. Hi, Fab family. Hoping you guys are all well, and I'm I'm on now. Yes, you are on now, and we are all doing well. At least in this house. Hope hopefully everybody's doing well. Uh, let's see. Will they work on any color car? Now that is a good question, 
And I thought about for my video, I was gonna go put it on my truck just to see, because my truck's silver. But I, I, I realized how long the video is gonna be. I decided to just not do it. Uh, it is available for sale, beer to me, but you have to go on Turtle Wax's website to buy it. Uh... <laughs> Jason Davis, you might. <laughs> Uh, Blair Stewart, he's always geeking out. Um, Blair Stewart said I was geeking out. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, only, look, I'm even getting flush in the face. I'm getting hot in here. When I, when I get geeked out, you guys know it. Um, it's kind of cool that I actually just happened to say in a video one time, man, this thing geeked me out, or I got geeked out, and it has stuck, and it's really cool. It's almost, uh, like my own saying, I guess, and you guys are saying it, and you guys say it in some of your videos too, and I think it's really cool when I hear it. Watch your videos a lot. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, I'm sorry, Johnny Jeffers. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And when I win the Turtle Wax, I'll be auctioning off some TP or hand sanitizer. <laughs> Beer to me already on Amazon, and they're, oh man, I couldn't find it on Amazon, so I didn't put it in my Amazon store. I tried looking for it, so I'm gonna go back there tonight. So I put it in my Amazon store. When somebody goes to my video and sees it, um, they can they can buy it from my Amazon store if they if they choose to. Man, we got a lot of people in here. We got forty people in here, and the comments are going crazy. What's up, Andrew Burris? Good to see you, man. Carlos Lopez, what is up, brother? Hope you're having a good night. Looking forward to you and Papa. Try that out. Great vids, guys. You know, I need to get Papa Smurf out here, and we make some videos out here. That's what we need to do. Todd, or the hoof can make us a turkey, and me and him will detail all day long. Always watch videos from start to end. The person doing it spent precious time doing it, and me is disrespectful. Man, that means a lot, Humberto. It really does. Uh, thank you for that, because a lot of people don't see it that way. Did you find out about Adam's hand wash? I, I did see all that stuff, but I, I didn't buy any. I want to see it up against Color Coat 2000. All Amazon detail supplies are taking three to four weeks to delivery. Oh, dang. But I understand that right now. Uh, sheeting looked amazing. Mark Benson, what's up, man? Uh, the sheeting was absolutely amazing. I agree. Beading was cool, too, though. I'm a bead guy. And to get a spray product where you get that uh, tight of beads like that is, is amazing. UK sports fan, what's up, AFAB? Glad to see you live streaming this week. You were in my... Yeah, I've been kind of doing it like every other week. We've just got so much going on. I... I I should not be doing it right now. I got stuff in the garage I need to be getting done. But, uh, yeah, I, I got to go live at least every other week right now. I've been looking around and seeing that lots of companies are working on it. But are they any good disinfecting interior cleaners already available? Or am I better off just using Lysol? Uh, Jamie Rosenthal, you know, I honestly don't know because I haven't used any of those companies' products at all. Uh, Spray 9 is what I like to use for disinfecting. Um, Lysol, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, Lysol works great, but I'm not sure about using it inside the car. Really like the video. Bart Warner, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Crap, sorry I'm late. Hope all is well. Oh, man, no problem, Corey. Uh, Mac Humber, no problem at all, man. I would like to see how it works on a dark blue Navy car. Chris Murphy, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea, actually. Just bought something about an hour ago. Bought the package. Oh, Michael Langley, you're going to love it, man. Good to see you. Thank you so much for being in the chats. I think dark color vehicles, it would work great, but lighter colors, it possibly could stain the paint. It might. It might, but uh, it's okay. I got polisher. I can get it off here. Uh, Tiger King now talk about crazy. I don't even know what that Tiger King thing is. Everybody keeps talking about. How's it going, everyone? Mark Sosi, Marine Detailing. I can do that. Taco Turkey. Taco Turkey. Seeing Tiger King. Papa brings tacos and Brian, you bring pizza. No problem. No problem with that at all. I emailed you a picture of what Super Clean sent me. Very oh, I'll check out the email. Cool, man. I'm glad that you got it. Um, so everybody that won the Super Clean giveaway, the three people that won, uh Blair Stewart, I know that you have yours now. Um trying to think the other two people i'm sorry uh jordan jordan emailed me and said he had his and the last person hasn't told me anything uh evening fab fam one of your best videos enjoyed the oh that's awesome thank you that's oh, i love comments like that that makes it all worth it i need your box number I have a couple griots uh taps to send out to you uh let me put it in here really quick Wait. 
type it in 917 I, I appreciate that man I really do oh crap Kenny D, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. Uh, because, and the reason I say that, because any of us that make detailing videos, like Papa Smurf and Randy Detailing, uh, people that are in here that make detailing videos, realize it's just not pointing the camera and shooting. There is a lot of time in editing, a lot of time in editing and answering uh, comments. Today's video, I am so thankful it's, it's gone as big as it has today already. Uh, almost one and a half thousand views today, which is good for my channel. Um, but I have been answering comments all day and then I kind of took a break for about four hours, not answering any comments. And I come back in before the live stream, took a shower. And then for about 45 minutes, that's all I did. I sat on the couch on my phone and answered comments. I love doing it, but man, it's a lot of work. Mike's making good. Good to see you, man. Watch my car been raining since. Oh man, that sucks. That, I mean, that's, that's the rain dance though. Yeah, Spray 9's amazing stuff. If you can find it right now, it's a problem. Uh, Leo Magna, good to see you, man. Appreciate you. Glad to see you in here. Yeah, please hit the thumbs up, you guys. That really does help the channel grow because it makes the, the videos hit the algorithm. So not only just live streams, but anytime I put a video out, please hit the thumbs up if you can. Uh, that black wax has it. Oh, it's going to be a great trimmer store. Uh, John Dura... Dur Duratini, I guess. Good evening. My first time in the Hangout. Oh, man. Thank you so much for coming on here. Uh, we appreciate you coming on. Welcome to the Fab Family Hangout. We call it the Fab Family because we just basically hang out. We don't always talk about car stuff. Um, a lot of times we do, but we just hang out for an hour and we just have a good time. And it's always a clean, good family time. You know, you could, family could actually watch it and nobody's going to get offended. Um, and if somebody's in here being stupid in the chats, we just get rid of them. AJ Bentley, good to see you, man. Hopefully you're staying safe over there. Keith can't forget the Rolos. Oh, man, I need Rolos so bad right now. Uh, who won what, Carlos? Good to hear, Phil. I haven't seen your video today yet. Been detailing today. Mask, gloves, disinfected vehicle. Can I, isopropyl alcohol in it. And where? Gloves, disinfected vehicle today. Can't find any isopropyl alcohol anywhere. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Everybody's buying everything up. 51 people in here, man. You guys are killing it tonight. Killing it. Andy Bell, what's up? Check out G-Technique Try Clean for sanitizing your interior. Detailed image has it. I may have to buy that because I need to make a detailed image order this weekend. Appreciate that. I'll probably forget what it is, but... Best products to use inside a car is Spray 9. I have tried Lysol and it sanitizes, but not as good as clean as... Sp yeah, Spray 9 is amazing stuff. Uh, do you know, hey, Phil, when is your turtle wax ceramic spray coating durability follow-up video coming out? Me and Fab would eat so much <laughs> taco pizza and Rolo, we wouldn't be able to detail. We'd be crashed in the garage. <laughs> That's true. The problem is, man, it, I, I we get you out here, and we plan on making these cool videos and stuff, but then we just end up hanging out, cracking up, jokes, laughing, just enjoying the time together. We probably wouldn't even make any videos. <laughs> Uh, will your new garage setup be more for detailing or mechanical? Uh, Ed's 1990 Sporty. It's definitely going to be more for detailing. Now, I still have my 60-gallon compressor and everything like that, all my air tools that I keep here at home, and I can do jobs in the, in the garage if I have to. <laughs> I hate working in the garage without a lift, but I'm thinking, and it may come to fruition very soon, as long as Mrs. Fab is not in the chats. <laughs> Papa Surf knows what I'm talking about. Um, I'm thinking about getting a... Uh, uh, how in the world can I, it's a lift. Uh, I'm sorry. I had a really, really long day today. Um, I feel really stupid. It's a portable lift. I just cannot think of the name of it. Uh, it's really easy to use though. Uh, put a little lift in the garage. That way I, if I don't want it, I can actually hang them on the wall when I'm done. My gosh, why can't I think of the name of that? I've been talking about it. Quick Jack. Thank you, Tyler Lloyd. I appreciate that. Yeah, Quick Jack. Uh, probably gonna be getting one of those very soon. Uh, for the garage because that's going to help with taking wheels off for detailing and also just raising the car up just enough that on my stool I can be polishing here 
instead of be polishing down here. Polishing here is so much better. Even up, I'd rather be polishing up here than down here. I saw the turtle wax on Amazon when I placed my order on the website for these because the shipping was going to pull. Oh, I can't find them. Maybe so. Yeah, I can't find them. Man. It's weird. Jordan, what's up, man? Good to see you. We're just talking about you and said that you already got your giveaway from Super Clean, man. It's awesome. Uh, Ryan Moore, what's up, man? Good to see you. Staying safe, Papa Smurf. Da -da -da. Sorry, I'm way behind. When I get to talk in these long parts, I apologize, but we got 55 people in here tonight, man. It, this is crazy. You guys are awesome. Sign up for Turtle Wax Giveaway. When is the contest? Uh, two weeks from today is when I'll post a video for the whoever the winner is. Can't wait to see the revolts, Carlos Lopez. Man, he's biting at the biting at the bit, man. Went to the grocery store today with the mask and gloves. I'm not messing around. I wouldn't be either. I go to work, come home. Go to work, come home. Go to work, come home. That's it. Make me an order too, Fab. <laughs> I picked up the new Adams Interior Detailer with Microbon. Uh, I heard that stuff is really good. I haven't tried it. I love their Interior Detailer, though. Uh, quick Jack, uh, Tyler Lloyd, thank you so much for that. I just got down to your comment. I saw it pop up on my phone when I'm using the record. Um, glad to have you in here, man. Thank you. We love you, Fab. Detailer, my Saturday night is a good hangout night. Good information. Thank you, Robert Knapp. Appreciate that. Let me know where you get it from. If you're talking about the Quick Jack... Home Depot has the best price on it. You can usually get it on sale. So um, I'm probably going to get the 7,000 pound. And I can use, if I get it on sale, and I've seen it on sale many times, but every six months they go on sale, you can get a 7,000 pound lift for like 1,200. What size quick? Oh, I just said it. I've been wanting one for the Trans Am. Uh, you know, you could buy the 6,000 pound for the Trans Am. It'd be perfectly fine. I just want something big enough that I know is going to be safe to lift my truck with. You know, if we hit 60 people in here, and we're really close, that's going to be the most I've ever had in a live stream. <laughs> that's crazy. This turtle wax stuff, you guys really like this video, man. Everybody's joining in tonight. One thing I need to mention really quick. I've seen a lot of comments about it today. So here's the pad that I used, and it is clean, as you see. Yes, it's going to stain. No matter what you do, being a black wax, nothing you can do about that. It's going to stain. But this stain doesn't matter. It's clean. It's not going to affect the next time you polish a car. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and tried to get all this out, and I couldn't. The black uh, residue you get left over in your microfiber towel is going to stain your microfiber towel. It's not going to affect how your microfiber towel works once you wash it. It's still going to be clean. It's just going to be stained. But if you plan on using these products and you don't want staining on your good towels or whatever, use good towels to remove it, don't get me wrong, but set some aside dedicated just for black polish and black wax. That's what I would do. Thought I, I thought I ought to bring that up, because I'll tell you what, let me show you guys something else. Hey, hang on. I got these at Napa for $10. I haven't even opened them yet. So... It's, uh, how many are in here? I think it's 30 for 10 bucks. They're like, a, they're a 300 GSM. No, 25 pack. So you got blue, orange, yellow, green, and pink. And I think that this type of towel is a great GSM for removing waxes and polish. That about 300 is where I like to be when removing waxes and polishes. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys that. I haven't even opened them yet, but uh, 10 bucks is all I paid for these. And they're actually pretty freaking soft. They are made in China, but they are made very, very well. I like them. So I don't know. We'll see how I like them as I use them. I'll use them on the test panel first. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Does Turtle Walk tell you that the kit giveaway is a series or is it the other kit that we received, the original? No. From what I understand... They're going to give away this kit right here, Pop Smurf. 
I just bought some CarPro products through Detailed Image to try out. Super fast shipping. That's awesome. Yes, uh, Detailed Image is awesome. If you ever want to use my code, please feel free. <laughs> um, I get a, You get 10% off your order, and I get a little bit of a kickback. I don't know what the kickback is. I just They'll show me an order, and then they'll say, here's how much money you made off of it. Um, and I use that to buy supplies. Like, I need to make another Detailed Image order. I have, like, $50 credit right now because of you guys. Um, and I need to buy pads and some other stuff and it's stuff that I use in the videos to help you guys out. So that's why I do it. Scott Olson. Good to see you, man. I almost passed you. Luckily I saw Papa Smurf's uh, comment. Hey, Fab family. First time on your chat. Arnell Ray is good to have, good to have you. Thank you so much for being in here. Uh, Michael Finese. Good evening, Fab family. Good evening to you. Thank you so much for being on here. Arnell, welcome to the Fab Family. Yes, this is the Fab Family, and I appreciate every one of my Fab Family members. How much is the Turtle Ice Kit? It's $50. And in that kit, you get the two products. You get two pads. Actually, take that back. You can buy a five and a half inch kit or a six and a half inch kit. I like five and a half inch. I don't work on big cars where I need this big one. Um, and then you get this, you get two towels, and you get the applicator, and then you get the hybrid solutions decal it's not the turtle x brian it's the quarantine lockdown that's why we need the live streams yeah that's true <laughs> uh, i want other people to win the turtle x giveaway so i purposely didn't enter the giveaway but the video was excellent i was really interested in the stuff when i saw uh Pan's video. Did Pan have a video on the black polish and wax? I didn't think he did. In fact, I know he didn't because he doesn't have it yet because I just talked to him on Friday night about it. <clears throat> I can't wait to see his thoughts on it, though. I can tell you that, man. I, I have a lot of respect for Pan. Oh, when he visited the headquarters. I'm sorry. Yes. And that's funny is when I messaged and we were talking... Um, I asked him what he thought of the products and he said he didn't have them yet. I was like, they didn't let you take, I figured they let him take it home from headquarters. Um, he's like, no, but you know, the shipping's so messed up right now with everything that's going on with the coronavirus and he's in Canada. So it's going to take even longer for him to get it. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. I want to, I need to contact Turtle Wax and find out where I can buy more of these. I want to buy more of these just for that product because you need more than one. Let me tell you guys that right now. That is a big misconception that people think that they can clean these, use them again on a, on a detail. If you do that, it's gonna, that detail is going to take you all day long. You can, Even though this is an all-in-one with a wax, you can use this on a door and a fender and maybe another door, and you need to replace it with another one, and then hit another fender, another door, another door, and another one. Now you need another one for the hood and the trunk, and now you need another one for the roof. I usually use four to six pads on every single detail. That's just the way it is. And we just hit 60 people in here. That is nuts. You guys are killing 62 people in here. My gosh, that's like a record, a world record. <laughs> I'm all kinds of geeked out right now. Love all you guys. Love all your videos. Thank you, Arnell Rays. I really appreciate that, man. You have no idea. That makes the videos worth it to me. I uh, love the Griot's pad cleaner. I used to use Dawn dish soap. My pads are softer with pad cleaner. Yeah, there, it is a really good cleaner, and I used to use it all the time. It just got expensive continuing to buy it. I use 3D towel clean for my towels. I'm not going to tell anybody. Never mind. Papa Smurf knows what I'm talking about because I don't want to ruin anything for him. Um, but I use, uh, right now, I use Dawn dish soap, or I use the Detail Guards pad cleaner uh, when I'm cleaning my pads. What's the best sealant you have used that sheets water more than beads? As far as sealant, Dave, Dave, uh, Grills Garage's uh, one-step sealant is really good, but it beads. Um, as far as sheeting for just a sealant, a sealant um, I'm trying to think if I've used a sealant, a dedicated sealant that only sheets. I don't think I have. Um, I do like Malco CR2. That is not a sealant. That is an SI2 spray. It is a sheeting product. Um, these are sheeting products. If you saw my whole video today, these sheet the water almost like a coating does, like a ceramic coating. Amazing. I've never seen a spray product sheet as well as that. The Malco's close. 
Um, but these these are these are on another level, in my opinion. Uh, my detailed image code is. I'll just put it on here really quick, just so you know. Sorry, guys. Hang on a minute. Detailed image. You know, I hate these iPads. I really hate it. Um, there's the there's the code right there. And you just use it at checkout and you get 10% off. World record smash the thumbs up. I know, man. 62 people still. Uh, everyone like the video. Yes, please. Everybody hit me a thumbs up. Give me like 60 thumbs ups. That'd be awesome. I've never had that many on a live stream before. Uh, stay safe. Uh, what's up, Mark Benson? I think I already said hi to you. I'm sorry. You've been, you were in here for a little while already. Uh, all right, Robert Knapp, I appreciate that, man. I broke a bottle. Max Lee, what's up? I broke a bottle of 3-in-1 hybrid detailer. What do I do? Can I keep it good? Uh, you need to be able to seal it off. Um, if you broke the bottle, you need to find some way to seal it off. You don't want any moisture to get inside it. Sorry, my nose is itching. You have the first video of the black ceramic... Ed's 1990. Um, that's awesome. I did not know that. I was hoping that I would, but you, you just never know. I've, you know, I've had it since Monday. I made the video Tuesday and Wednesday. I edited it Wednesday night and Thursday night, and then I finished putting the. Uh, I uploaded it to YouTube on Friday morning. Finished my thumbnail and everything Friday night. It took basically this whole week to make this video, uh, but I wanted to try to get it out as fast as possible. Because that's the name of the game on YouTube. It really is. Uh, the first person to try the product first is going to get the most views. 67 people. My gosh, you 68 people. We hit 70. I don't know what I'm going to do. Johnny Pro's in here. I think the world's coming to an end. <laughs> no, no, Johnny Pro, don't take offense to that. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Hopefully your family's all safe. Don't use F11. Uh, the fly white guy, don't worry. I I've had... My run in already. I tried Shine Armor. I'm not doing any more of those uh, Facebook type things. That stuff was junk. So I'm sure F11 is too. 68 people, man. I'm I'm on cloud nine right now. It amazes me that 68 people want to sit and watch me talk. <laughs> Phil's leaving. Uh, I got to edit vid. Oh man, I know the struggle. Yes, Phil. Thank you so much for being with us tonight, man. I'm, you're probably already gone, but thank you for being here. And uh, we'll see you in your next video. I'm going to watch your video tonight when I get off here. Take care for your old Johnny Pro. Where did you get those towels? Uh, uh, Napa is where I got those ones. Fab, what's your favorite foam cannon? Uh, honestly, right now, probably my Griot's Garage foam cannon. I don't have an MTM Hydro. Um, obviously, that would be my my favorite if I had it. But the Griot's Garage Foam Cannon is really good. And it's kind of underrated because you can put the bottles directly into it. It has a self-mixer um, so that you don't use too much product. Use the exact amount of product that you actually need for washing a car. So that's probably my favorite. Uh, BJ, what's up? Chavez Custom Detailing, good to see you, man. Hit that like, y'all. Yes, please hit the like. I love to see the numbers just skyrocket on the likes right now. If you hit 70 people, you have to do a cartwheel. All right. There's no room. Probably get injured and go to the hospital. I can't go to the hospital, though, man. See, they ain't going to take me right now. <laughs> when are you going to do an update on lights on side of house? Uh, I... I guess I could do another update. I can tell you right now, we love them. They are still fantastic. I've had two more companies send me more lights. <laughs> I did one light review video and I've had them through, I mean, every day I wake up to people want me to send their lights and I, I keep saying, no, no, thank you. But um, if you guys remember the deformable LED lights that I had in my garage, I made a video on, that company contacted me and they have made a new one. It's, it's supposed to be even better. They sent me four of them because I have four light sockets in the new garage. I'll be making a video on that. And then I had a company send me two spotlights. 
I wasn't sure about that because they're color changing and all this stuff. But then I started thinking, I was like, well, I have lights coming down. In my new garage, I want to set up for detailing. I need to put those spotlights on the walls, you know, light coming in this way behind me. It might be cool. It might not. That's a fly or something. Uh, might be cool. Might not. I don't know. Um, but that's coming up future videos. Curfew is 6 p.m. Dang. Have you tested foam wash pH neutral from Wax Planet 8 Below? I don't have any Wax Planet stuff. I never even heard of that. I did the Meguiar's Road Rage Turtle Wax and none better than 8 Below. Yeah, I've never used their products. So I, I cannot answer that. Keep be honest. Uh, more people will watch. Much appreciated. The Fly White Guy, I appreciate that. Thank you. It, I'm always going to be honest. If I don't like something, I'll tell you. If I love it, <laughs> you'll know like today's video. Um, I don't hold nothing back, but I also don't bash. So I have given bad reviews on products that have been sent to me. And I just say, you know, guys, I just don't recommend this product. I don't go on and I don't bash the product. I don't bash the company. I don't do anything like that. Uh, I'm... I want people to respect me, so I respect people. I respect companies. I know they're trying to make money. I'm not trying to hurt them, but I'm not going to say I love it, and then you guys buy it, and you're like, man, Fab sucks. He has no idea what he's talking about. Um, always honesty, and that's the way I was raised. I was raised that way. I'd never, I'd never lie like that. No way. I have learned a lot from watching your videos. Keep it up. David Mays, man, I appreciate that. I love that comment. That's an awesome comment. Thank you so much. Hey, would you do a clay compound then use this to, hey, better results? Uh, yes, if you're going to, okay, so if you're going to be using these products right here, I should have mentioned that in my video and I didn't because the, the the hood and the door that I used in the video was already clayed. Definitely clay, decontaminate. That's before you do any waxing of any type. Make sure it doesn't need it. Now, if it doesn't need it, don't do it. Um, but if it needs it, definitely do it before you use these. You could compound, try to get rid of all the scratches, then apply this basically as a wax. I don't see an issue with that. Um, I don't know. It would definitely help you fill the stuff that maybe you didn't get with the compound. So I think it's a good idea. Uh, has anybody used Armor Shield ceramic coating? Is that the stuff that I have, the Shine Armor? I still have it. I would to put it in the backyard for target practice because it's a really skinny bottle. Put it like 100 yards away and see if I hit it. I think that's shine armor. I don't know, though. Down to 63. Yeah, I know, man. Hoof, but, man, we are almost to 70, which is unreal for, for my live streams. Riley, oh, good to see you, man. Hopefully you're staying busy out there and staying safe, more importantly. Here in Atlanta, there are 5,200 cases of coronavirus. 19 streets are empty. Um, yeah, big cities, you're going to have the most. Absolutely. No doubt about it. It's going to be in the big cities. What do you call a fly with no wings? No idea. An ant. What's a good product to get a stain off paint? They parked in parking garage, something with the rain or water come down and looks like the stain. What's the best compound or sealant or wax get off, etc.? Okay, so Grayo's Garage is Fast Correcting Cream or the product that I just put a video on last week, um, the Extreme Solutions 503 Dynamic Cut. Fantastic product there. Both of those, you can't go wrong uh, with buying. You can get a 10% off of Extreme Solutions if you use the code FAB10. Unfortunately, it's here in uh, Grayo's Garage. I don't get a discount code for you guys from them, so... Only tell people about a company that you really feel good about. Yeah, Max Lee, that's what I've been doing. So I know I keep going off and I am way behind the comments, but I like to explain stuff when people uh, say comments like that. Uh, only, tell people, only tell people about a company that you really, really feel good about. So now what I do, if I have a company uh, message me and say, hey, we want you to try our products, and I've had a couple this last week, and I'm like, I don't answer. I go and I do some reviews on them, check them out, say, you know, if I have 500 reviews and 450 are positive and 50 are negative, it's probably a pretty good product. But uh, you can usually, by reading comments, figure out what's good and what's not. I try to not get anything that I know is going to be bad because when you start doing negative reviews, I think you get you get the bad crowd in the comments. And I don't want the bad crowd on my channel. I don't. I don't go for drama. I don't go for anything like that. 
So yeah, I, I get exactly what you're talking about. And that's what I plan on always doing if I can. Every now and then I may get something from a company. There's probably some Griots I don't like. There's probably some Adams I don't like. There's probably from Meguiar's I don't like. That's just part of it, but. Did I miss the video on your new place? Nope, that's not out yet, Arnell. Not yet. The garage is almost done. All we have to do is paint. Anyone know what to use to remove pine sap on a on a hood? Uh, pine sap, you can use clay and you should be able to get it off. Brian Ferg just ordered Griot's G8 and G9 along with the Euro Fire 5050 and 31. Super excited, man. You're going to love those machines. Good to see you in here, Brian Ferg. I appreciate you being on here. Wax mode, what is up, man? What? Wax mode's not even in the chats tonight. That's crazy. Good to see you, man. Love it, man. Wax mode, Kyle. I, these are, these are, I've blown my mind, man. What, I mean, what'd you think? Don't tell everybody. I mean, you can just put awesome or whatever, but I, I was kind of speechless over the spray wax. I really was. It was extremely good. What one step polish that you will use with a ceramic coating? Well, if you want to use a one step and not do anything else, Griot's Garage Fast Correcting Cream. Problem is, if you plan on doing a ceramic coating and you plan on polishing before, you need to plan on doing a two-step because you're going to get micro marring from most companies' heavy cutting products, and you don't want to leave that micro marring and not notice until after you put the coating on there. All right, Brian, when are you going to do a follow-up video on the Turtle X ceramic spray coating? I just filmed it. Not out yet. I haven't edited it. Well, I don't, I don't even know if I have to edit that one. It's just a quick one. The bad crowd hang out with the luxury microfiber folks. <laughs> CJ Burn, that's great, man. <laughs> they, they can have them. <laughs> hey, Fab, is this product available for purchase? Yes, you can buy it on a, um, Turtle Wax's website. Trying out chemicals on my fiberglass bass boat one of the days please one of days please do a try on one i don't mind on a fiberglass uh, boat or car i've never done it I, I i i take that back i have i have detailed a fiberglass uh corvette if you guys haven't been on wax mode's channel you're, yes uh wax mode's in here so please go check out wax mode's channel the guy he in my mind does some of the best and i'm up here with wax mode as far as reviewing products durability um doing torture tests stuff like that showing you the extreme hydrophobics because he's a hydrophobic nut like i am um go check out wax mode you guys really super great guy i can't wait to see the polish and spray wax i can't either i can't either Turtle Wax blew the jet black box kit out of the water with these two products. Wasn't a fan of that kit, but these products are much better to work. Oh, man. Yes, they are. Now, on your comment earlier on my channel. Oh, I know I read it somewhere. I know I read don't use it in direct sunlight. Maybe I read it on their website. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, not for use on rubber vinyl finishes for 24 hours. Well, okay, so I'm not reading that. Where did I read not use it in direct sunlight? Maybe it was on the black, black wax. Man, I know I saw it somewhere. I know in their videos they say not to, but... Oh, there he is. Avoid application on hot surfaces... Uh, for best results, do not overapply high active formula. Oh, well, I know I saw it somewhere though. Because your comment when I read it, I was like, dang, you know. Because these, you know, as you know, because being in Arizona, these work fantastic in the direct sunlight. So, what do you think about the McGuire's new sealant? Um, I don't have it. I do have their new ceramic because of wax mode. It's the only reason that I bought them. I haven't used it yet. Ceramic detailer. Because he absolutely loved that. And ceramic wax, but I haven't used them yet.
I have so many products I need to use and this garage is just really hanging me up. I've got six or seven cars lined up for when my garage is done to detail. So I'm gonna be busy when I get it done. How do the turtle wax ceramic polishes compare black and then the first release? I actually, I think they cut about the same, honestly. And they might be pretty much the same product other than this one has a black pigment that's going to fill imperfections. Good Lord, 67. I know, man. There's a lot of people in here earlier. Waiting to see that backflip. We ain't doing a backflip, Jason Davis. I promise you that. <laughs> Should be at the top. Turtle Wax doesn't recommend the black polish, the ceramic polish on wax on hot surfaces. But the ceramic polish and wax wasn't giving me trouble on that crazy hot. Yeah, that's true. Because when we used the hot, when we did it down there in Arizona, you did it by hand. We all did it in the direct sun. That stuff was hot. And we had zero issues at all. But I know that it said it, and it might be on their website. You might want to check it out on their website. Just because now you got me looking again. <laughs> it's, it's just driving me nuts. I can't find it. Uh, yeah, I can't find it on here, but I know it says it. And it's probably on their website. Because it does say hot, do not use on hot surfaces. Wax mode, I think you said it was 150 degrees on the panel you did today. So that's probably where the issue lied there. Brian from Apex Love. Yeah, he did. Not the black, but the regular one. Friend of mine called me on video. What are you talking about, Michael Campbell? Did I miss something? You're born in 67, Humberto? Is Turtle Wax Black Ceramic Spray good on Lexus RX 350 gray paint? Uh, no, I would probably say no, Aaron's. Um, I might do it for fun in, in the future, but no, it's it's made for black paint. It has black pig, pigmented color to it, so I would say no. I messaged your Dream Solutions to see if they would be interested in sending me a few products to try out, but no reply, Fab. You got to put in a good word for me. Uh, Papa Smurf, they are not in. Um, they are out until all this is lifted. I have been in touch with him, been texting back and forth. Let me see what I can do for you. I left for a few minutes and missed a bunch of comments. Okay. Uh, one thing that's cool about Extreme Solutions is when I talked to him, before he ever sent me anything, he said, and this is what he said, I don't care if you make a video. You don't have to make a single video on these products. He said, use them, call me, message me, email me, and just tell me what you think. He goes, we make our products off of what people are liking. That's how we know what to build off of. Um, he said, I don't care. You don't have to make a single video. So I was like, well, that's freaking cool. That's really cool. Um, yes, absolutely, Arnell Rice. I would not do that. And you know why? The hoof who's in here told me a long time ago, he said, when you use those brushes at a coin car wash, you don't know what was washed before that could have had rocks in it, and now it's embedded in there, and now you're going to scratch a whole car up with rocks. Because when I was younger, I used to use it. I used to use the brush. Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't use it. Just use a regular, if you want to create swirls, just to see what it'll do, use just a regular towel you dry your body off with as to dry your car off with, and you're going to get plenty of them. I appreciate it, man. I messaged them on Instagram. Okay, I got you. Brian Cow, man, good to see you. Hopefully everything's good for you out there. Hopefully you guys are staying safe in all of this. Uh, Aaron's, you know, I, I, I'm going to be going to the Turtle Wax headquarters. I was supposed to be already there, but then this hit. The coronavirus stuff hit. Um... Once the coronavirus is over, I'm going up to Turtle Wax headquarters, and that's going to be the one thing that I'm going to ask them for. That's the one main thing. There's other things I'm going to ask them about, but uh, that's the one thing that I'm going to say, we need this. This is what we need. I said it in two weeks ago in the live stream um, when Darren was in here from Turtle Wax, and I said, man, we, we need it. And he said, "We got." He said, what do you say? Uh, Big things coming is all he said. So maybe they already got one in the works. I don't know.
When are you going to do more Extreme Solutions videos? Been looking at them on their website on almost ready to pull the trigger on some, but don't tell the wife. <laughs> Sorry, Corey. I won't tell her. <laughs> um, I have a ton of their products. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They sent me 18 of their products. I've only done videos on two. Um, because a lot of the other ones, I need to be washing a car. It's a soap. We got a wheel cleaner. Uh, we got an all purpose cleaner, uh, leather cleaners, trim, tire dressings, trim dressings, uh, the poly seal, which everybody loves, leather cleaners, glass sealant, silica spray sealant, and I don't remember which one it is back there because I don't I don't want to knock all this down. But there's one back there that's like uh, McKee's SO2 Hydro Blue and the uh, one I just used last a couple weeks ago, the Wet Coat by Gion. It's a spray-on, rinse-off ceramic uh, spray. So I'm interested in that one for sure. Problem is... In the winter time, I need to be going up to work to be doing these videos, and with the quarantine and everything, I can't. Uh, best carpet extractor shampoo? I cannot answer that because I don't have a carpet extractor. But I can tell you, Adams Polishes Carpet Upholstery Cleaner is fantastic, and you don't need an extractor. I mean, amazing. If you want to know how good it is, look up uh, on my channel... When I did the Jeep, when we first got it, I used it on the interior, and the interior was nasty. I mean, it was awful. Uh, it did a fantastic job. All I used is a brush. Arnold Ray says, this is awesome. Isaac Wagner, uh, first time actually getting in while it's still streaming. Uh, good to have you, man. Appreciate that. About nine minutes uh, away from being over. I mean, but if, you, if you're only one minute from being over, I appreciate you coming on here for sure. I've used uh, AM, Iron X, and others, but nothing like Built Hammer's Fallout products. Great. Also, the McGuire's for wheels. Um, Humberto, I've never used any Built Hammer products. I'd love to. I can tell you I've used a lot of iron products, and my favorite is Iron Blaster from Malco. It's by far the stinkiest product in the world. You can take every iron product that I have ever used, mix them in a bottle, and it probably still won't smell as bad as the Malco, but the Malco is hands down the best around. Wax Mode, are you still in here? Just out of curiosity if you are. Um, do you ever do any videos on iron removers? Would you prefer a 21 millimeter long throw or smaller? I've been detailing for a while and have used a small portal cable. I purchased both, uh, the M21 and G9. Would you like your... You know, honestly, it depends. Um, I love my G21, but there's just so many spots that I can't get into. Underneath mirrors, um, trunks that have spoilers. The lo the shorter throw would be would be nice. That's for sure. I got my G twenty one when I went to a Grios Garage garage sale and I bought it cheap, dirt cheap, um, because it was used. But they guarantee it, and I've had it now for about three years. I think never had a problem. Um, I think a fifteen millimeter, nine millimeter is really a good good size. But the twenty one's still good. Don't get me wrong. But the shorter throw gets you in the tighter spots. Um, I have not, Aaron's. I've not used it. I just bought Naskin Spray Sealant SO2 for under six dollars. Haven't tried it. Uh, Ozulu Garage has, and he loved it. Have you tried Wowos Fallout Mover, Brian Ferg? I have not. I have one Wowos product, the Showstopper, but I have not tried that. So um, Wax Mode, I see you're still in here. Do you ever? Oh, here we go. I haven't done any videos on iron movers, but I've got Iron X, the McKees, Dodo Juice, Ferris Dueler, some other ones as well. If you have a way, uh, Kyle, to get Malco products, uh, let me just grab it. I don't even know if you've ever heard of Malco. I'm sure you have, but maybe because of my channel, I don't know. Go ahead and show the Taco Smurf shirt again. If you have a way of getting this, Right here. I think this would be good for your torture test because this stuff is really, really strong. Uh, Malco's Iron Blaster. I think it's uh, $18 or $19 for a 22 ounce. I've used this on three cars and I still have probably about that much. A little bit goes a long way. But I have used um, other companies' products that supposedly worked really good. And then 
followed it up with this and the whole panel turned purple. Uh, so this is where it's at. And I think this would be good for uh, torture tests. I don't do torture tests personally. And I have nothing wrong with them. I think they're cool. I just I just don't do them. And I think, oh man, this stuff stinks. I can smell it without even spraying it. Um, I think this would be good for your torture tests. I really think it would be good for your torture tests because this stuff is really strong. But do not take it in the house. Now it's on my hands. Woo! <laughs> Works like a charm, just like the old formula, just with antimicro. Okay. Any tips for a rookie like me detailing? Oh, gosh. There's a lot of tips. That, that, that could be another hour. <laughs> take your time. That's the biggest tip. Take your time. Don't rush through it. If you're if you're like, oh, okay, I got two hours. I want to get this car cleaned up, washed, detailed. Don't do it. You're you're, you're gonna fly through it. You're not gonna be happy. Take your time. That's my biggest one. Biggest tip. I haven't done any videos on iron. Okay, we already read that. I got Max Shine made S. DA polishers, eight millimeter, worked great, really well. Fifty percent of your voice. Holy cow. Tried McKee's Hydro Blue, and it's pretty... Oh, it is, CJ Burn. I agree. It's really good. Really good stuff. Chris McCarthy, what's up? I grabbed one of Malco's spray sealants at Detone Expo a few months ago. Oh, so did you get the CR2 then? or It's, or it's either Ceramic Refresher or CR2, Ceramic Refresher, Refresher 2. Both are fantastic. They're sheeters, though, and I think you're a beating guy like I am. Um, they're sheeting, but they sheet really well. Love videos. I find myself checking out your videos to see if you've did a review on any product before I consider buying them. Are you still a fan of any of the Ethos products? Oh yeah, uh, Ricker five three one. I appreciate that, man. That's an awesome comment. Um, absolutely, I'm a fan of a lot of them. This is one of my favorites, Tire Shine. This right here is dead even in the water with Adams, in my opinion, car shampoo. Probably my second favorite is their wheel cleaner. I have this. I have a gallon of this. Um, I have their new formula too, but I didn't really think it smelled much better. It has the iron removers in it. Oh yeah, dry and, dry and seal uh, ceramic wax pro. I mean, they're all. I, I love all of them. <clears throat> did you hear McGuire's is coming out with a true strength? Yes, I did. In fact, it should be out right now because it's supposed to come out in March. So it should be out. I was, in fact, I might buy that off detailed image now that you said that. Because for my last time I made an order, um, it was a uh, uh, buy it and then send it to you whenever it comes in because it wasn't actually out yet. So I was pre ordering it. I didn't want to do that. Love the shirt. Thank you. Papa Smurf, Taco Smurf. I can't wait for the updated Car Pro Iron X, which will have significantly less rotten eggs, suffer sulfur smell. Yes, I, I guess that the Wowos doesn't smell bad either. Problem is, hopefully they figured out because if you find a way to cover up the mask of the smell, like Adams did, it kills the effectiveness of it though. Jason B, first time catching you live, I want to say hey, thank you so much, man. Thank you for coming on here live. I appreciate that. Yes, CR2. I have that. I haven't used it yet. I used the first version, just regular ceramic refresher. Oh, man, it was so good. Um, Papa Smurf has used CR2. I haven't used CR2 yet. I do have it. I just haven't used it. <laughs> Camaro time. What's up? Will this stuff protect me from Corona and limes? Probably not. <laughs> I like it, Fab. You're the most likable fella I follow. Great content, man. Much appreciated. Have you used the G8 much? Uh, I have not used it much. I've used it that one time. I haven't done any details. So when I get some details in, definitely be using it. But thank you. I appreciate your comment. My comments just disappeared. There we go. The Hoof's out of here. Not, good night, Hoof. Appreciate you, man. Love you.
Oh man, am I frozen? Or did my screen just pause? Yep, okay. Uh, speaking of Fab, you need to do a follow-up on this round. Okay, so UK sports fan, I can't. The reason why... I'm not, I'm not allowed to. See how this is a gray color, and this is more of like a brown color? So this was their first formulation. This was when they were still testing. There have been many updates from this version that ended up being in this version. So I'm not allowed to show the update of this right here, of how, how long it lasted, the hydrophobics or anything like that. Um, so I need to do a video on this is what I need to do, and I will eventually. Um, I've had this, we got this, uh, I got this the day or two before I started moving and just haven't had a chance. Why they don't put some scent on iron remover or it's, I think it's just too hard to cover that scent up. This is definitely a good group of people in the chat. Everyone seems pretty, fr oh, everybody's extremely friendly. And that's what I love about it. And that's what, you know what? I, when I first started doing live streams, I didn't call it the Fab Family. I didn't. Uh, I just name it whatever, you know, let's talk about this or let's unbox this or whatever. Then I started noticing how everybody was interacting with each other. Um, and I was like, this is like a family. I mean, we all get together and we hang out and we used to do it for two hours, but it's hard for me to do right now. Um, but it's like a family in here. I absolutely love it. So now you need to do a video where you pick your favorite five to 10 products of the year and why. Don't even need details to do that video. That's true, but that's a long video and I don't have a problem doing that. I just, I just don't have time right now to do it. I should, and maybe I will this year for the first time. I'd have to start, I'd have to figure it out come August or September. Um, but I think I should. A lot of channels do, do that. I'd have a lot of products in there though. Maybe more than five to 10. <laughs> Oh, man, we got, do we have the spinning wheel of death right now? I want to see something really quick. Am I still live? Is the video still good? Yep, okay, good. So I don't know what's going on. I've got the spinning wheel on this one. It says we have no internet. Tap to retry. Well, at least I'm live for you guys, where you're at. Oh, well. I can still see comments, so. Uh, maybe I can't. Uh, they're not updating. Well, I'm going to call it a night. If you guys have not seen um, my new video from today, the black acrylic polish and acrylic black wax you guys need to go check it out these things just i got geeked out over these these are absolutely amazing this video has done extremely well already today i've already gotten 1500 com 1500 uh views and a lot of comments but there's something special in the video and if you watch it all the way through you'll figure it out and you'll be happy that you watched it all the way through if you do so thank you guys so much for joining me tonight i love doing these hangouts the fab family hangouts and hopefully in two weeks, we can do it again. Uh, the weather's getting better. Starting to do get more uh, of the garage done. So I can start detailing. I cannot wait. And uh, thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And we'll see you in the next live stream.